things. But the reason I got into starting YouTube is because my so there's a lot of backstory. So in the gist, I lived in Tennessee for most of my life, and I met my current wife. And yes, we are we're fairly young. We are 18, 19. But the reason we sort of rushed in is because she's in the Air Force, and we wanted to have the opportunity to live together and build our life. And so when we had to move for the Air Force for her career, we I decided to stop school for a little while and kind of take time and focus on when I say school, just, you no, know, I mean college and high school, I promise I wasn't kidnapped. Um, but I decided to take time to myself and our family. Just me and, we don't have kids, but it's just me and her, but I wanted to put time into that because it's a stressful situation moving away from everything you know and creating this life. So when we moved, I decided I would start streaming and trying YouTube and I can and I wanted to learn how to edit because I've always been interested in editing and just I, you can't really call it the film making part of that but just I've always been interested in that I don't want to waste more energy and be exhausted again because I believe that's why we didn't get as much energy back so I'm just gonna walk around the town and talk to you guys about all this but up here this is the community center I was speaking of I believe we can go inside if not I think Lewis unlocks it for us and he unlocks it for us after I think our first season like after this is fall right or is it spring so after spring I believe we'll unlock it in the summer this is Leia's house so this is who we talked to to get a barn built she's not in right now characters do just wander off. There's another statue there, but it's red. But I decided I would start doing this as a hobby and just kind of teaching myself how to edit and enjoy. And personally, it, I struggle with, I'm more introverted. I have anxiety when it comes to social interactions, just your normal, how people are nowadays. But this kind of helps me get over that, and I really enjoy it. Oh, whoa, what's this? The mine is never closed on day one. It really changed this game since I've played it, so I guess you can't get to the mine on day one or day two anymore. I guess so you can't rush the copper tools, or so people don't keep throwing themselves at the mine and getting themselves killed, because that's where monsters will spawn at. And this is the up path to get back to our farm. This is the path that comes up next to that cave. Right here, I just completely missed this radish. I'm gonna exhaust myself again. I need to stop. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, I don't need fiber. I can actually eat this. So that'll give me energy back. And health. Where is my health? Oh, your health doesn't appear until you until you go into the mine because that's the only hostile area. So we picked up a leek and a wild horseradish. So real quick, let's come down here. I don't really like to mix seeds because I like to know what I'm growing so I can create patches. Oh, and you do unlock like level up skills, so. The more you level up skills, you get more things, like, you unlock things, so when it comes to, say, foraging, nah, that's a bad one. There used to be woodcutting. I guess they pushed it into foraging. Okay, but in the old days, back when it was foraging, or woodcutting, the more you did, you would unlock things like tree tabs and stuff like that. But now I think you can just get tree tabs now. Maybe not. But regardless, let's get a chest. I'm just gonna set it up right here, and we'll put our first things in there. So we'll get rid of anything but our base tools. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go to bed at 2 o'clock, please. Can I? Yeah. That way we have energy for the next day and can do a lot more.
plan was worth a lot. But I just, back to the subject of me starting this, I just figured it would be a good way for me to... Oh, it's raining today. Well, oh, I forgot about things like that. So you do kind of need scarecrows to keep birds off of your things. I completely forgot about that. And I don't have any seeds to replace that. And I don't remember where you get scarecrows. I think you can make base level ones and you can collect ones that are really pretty. I'm just going to kind of explore around here. It's a bit troublesome to get through. This is a lot of space. I, I feel like they greatly increase the amount of space they give us at the beginning. But I've I've always kind of enjoyed, you know, giving people a reason to laugh and smile. And so I just thought I would get more into doing that again because you kinda of lose the opportunity to do that sometimes in the real world. And this is a nice way for me to be creative and try my best to just make someone else's day better just by watching a quick 10, 15 minute video. And it's kind of just all I want out of it. Gonna go ahead and adjust the volume for the game because I don't want to blow anyone's ears out. <laughs> so, just spend a lot of this this day on our third day I believe we'll spend this day just clearing up our area here and creating more available space so we don't have to do it later when we go to get a barn or a chicken coop from Leia but as, uh, as I become more comfortable with this I'm I'll be a lot more open and joking. I'm just a little awkward right now, because, you know, I'm awkward. <laughs> but I figured this was a great opportunity to teach myself how to edit, kind of get myself out there more, and just maybe try to make someone's day better than yesterday. Um, I'm open to other games to play as well. I just started at a Stardew Valley because it's a very nice just peaceful game to start out with and I've always enjoyed playing and watching it and I'm just hoping you guys would too. And so that's kind of what influenced my decision to make this the first game to play. But I have other games like I have Dota 2, Battle Right, Artifact, Hearthstone. I have plenty of games to be able to play and you know, if you guys have something you think I would, you'd want me to start a, like a series, I guess you call it. Oh, I got a geode. You can get this broken up with the blacksmith. And there might be something cool inside them. But if you guys want to see anything different, I'm always open to looking at different games and playing them. Because this whole thing, this videos and streaming and everything is about you guys. So if you want to see something just never hesitate to ask. I would love to play something and entertain you guys and give you what you want because that's the whole point behind this is to entertain and do my part. I'm just going to eat this leek and finish up this area over here so I don't exhaust myself. I believe you can just destroy those one at a time but that takes less swings and having to aim the scythe or not the scythe, the uh, pickaxe. Oh, okay, I barely got there without feeling exhausted. Well, it's only 11 o'clock. I guess I could go eat this other thing I have. I think we should head down to the beach real quick and go talk to that guy. But first, let's store all these things. Just in case he tries to give us something or we find something cool along the way. Uh, fun fact, actually, the uh, Pierre's name is my middle name, 
So I just, I don't know, I thought that was really funny when I logged on to the game for the first time and saw that. There's a, a notice here, looking for a handsome young, oh, so you can actually get quests like that and they show up here. And this is a good way to kind of sh gain more trust and love throughout the the NPCs in this game and earn more hearts and get friendships and get married and kids and all those things. You don't have to do that. You can, If you want to just become like a cash farmer, like I did at one point, you can do that too. Oh, it's a cutscene. I don't know why I'm being quiet for the dialogue. It's There's no dialogue. It's a voiceover. I like Willy. He just invited us down here to fish with him or talk to him just from hearing us here. Or that we moved into town. A month out on the seas. It's a lot of time. Oh, he bought a new rod for himself. Wait, if he's the fisherman, where does he buy the rods from? Because that's his store. Oh, see, he, he is nice enough to give us his old rod. It's just a little bamboo pole. I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and skip through the rest of this. <laughs> so now we can fish. Uh, usually... Uh, when you get better fishing poles, you can get bait and they give you more. So I'm going to go try to fish over there. So basically, the way you fish, you toss it up, and you just wait. Shit. Alright, so yeah, you kind of want to, you hold down the mouse button to try to keep the fish in the green bar, basically. And when I first started playing, for my, like, my first maybe, like, 20 hours in this game, fishing and things like that, I thought you had to spam click, and I did that for so long. So it would just be me, like, mass clicking. And I just, I hated fishing. I was like, this is so much effort. Like, you shouldn't have to do this to fish. And you you didn't have to. I was just an idiot. Oh. But I'm going to go ahead and head back to my place. Good old Kala Farms. And end our day and end the session here. No, I don't remember a lot of these characters. And I've never really gotten into the community, but I'll definitely do more of the community stuff this time around for you guys. Because there are a lot of really interesting interactions people have. Oh, and the bus is another thing you can get fixed to ship you off. Not ship you off, but like, get you to other places. So we'll just sell our little fish and go in for the night. So, um, for picking, a oh, so you do get, so it is part of the foraging thing now. So, now trees will drop seeds for us. Uh, we break stuff faster with the axe, and we're just overall better with the axe. So, that is, uh, I'm glad that's in the game, so you're not stuck at the base level of speed doing things for the rest of the game. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, and if you guys have any ideas, just put it down in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.